Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Tony Sassy from 803. What is going on? What's happening, y'all? Y'all, I'm on a quick lunch break. I had to come and say, what's up? <laughs> and um, I hope you guys are having a great day. So remember, all things on this channel is the last, in my opinion, it is for learning, teaching, entertainment purposes only. You got it. So there is on the news, on the news, y'all, um, that ship that hit that Maryland bridge, y'all, they're still searching for like six people. So we need to keep their families in prayer. That was a tragedy. I mean, you just driving along and a ship collapsed the whole bridge. So we need to, you know, keep them in prayer, okay? Hey, my degree is Rhea, Veronica Moreau, Patricia Dyer, Brittany Janae. Hey, Norma Chapman, Sheila Massey. What's up, y'all? Hey, Black Gray Street. What's up, she, she, my member, Cricket 22, Sarian 1922. Mel C, Alicia W, my member. Hey, Geneva Harrison, my degree is real, flower bloom, and one in a million. You. <laughs> Hey, Jacob. Hi, I got a question. I might have an answer. Hey, Adrian Wiley. Um, Carmen. Hello. Hey, Nicole. How are you? Mm. Hey. Hello. How y'all doing? Do you like bouncy houses? No, I don't. I do not. I don't play in bouncy houses. Those are for children. Um, hey, Carmen Jackson. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey, LBB123. I pray for the injured and missing from the bridge in Baltimore. Amen. That is, oh, that is a tragedy. Hey, Katora. Hey, Janice Mills. Hey, Flower Bloom. Send their prayers to all who was affected by the bridge accident. The ship is supposed to know its own clearance height. That's what I thought, too. It looked like somebody stacked some extra stuff. Or somebody didn't go in the, the right clearance height. Something, something just not right in the Kool-Aid. Hey, Kim Jones. I'm supposed to be working. Me too. Why are big busty girls? Bye, Jacob. I ain't got time for your mess deck. I got other stuff. Um, put in time out. You don't know how to act. Um, hey Diamond, Diva Honey B. We've been asking about you. Where you been? Good. I'm glad you're okay. Mel so receipts. She got she has her G Wagon. Another lie. We know that. It's probably paid for. That's going to be one of the kids' cars. <laughs> I work from home. Oh, okay. Hey, see, until last night, I told my husband, if he kissed me off one more time, I'm going to make him a little sack. <laughs> Did he laugh? Did he ask, what in the world was that? Hey, George and Leo, Betsy Clay, D. Brown. Yeah, he's a troll. I got him. Just listening, Purple Queen. Hey, Halloween Anderson. Sassy, you're quicker than me. That time was, time out was quick. <laughs> Ain't got time for Jacob today, okay? Other time, when I'm off of work, I can, um, you know, I can put up with him, but not today. The only G-Wagon Uncle Wanda can afford is a kid's power wheel, and she can't afford that. She can only put, afford the wheel part. <laughs> the ship lost power and fire broke out on the... Oh, they could not control the ship in time to avoid hitting. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hope... You know what? <laughs> Tell him Wanda, tell him. <laughs> That's I've been under attack by the enemy, but he has no power over me. Just keep me in prayer. It still works. Oh, we got you, boo. We got you. 
All right. So do you think Carlos was the battery in the back? I believe it. I'm going to tell you all something. I, I, I have an epiphany. I thought about this today and I could be wrong. OK. But what happened was when Stormy said something happened in January. I think her and Carlos came up with a plan. They came. She came to see. Just how many supporters Mel really has. And this Marshman, I don't know them. Uh, I don't know. I have to call them back. I don't know who that is. I have to call them back. I'm at work and I'm online. Um, but um I do believe that. Oh, hold on, y'all. Yes. Hello. Anyway, um, I do believe this. They had a plan, and when they saw how big the millimeters were, there was a plan device. Because as you guys know, a thirty-two shot photography. The big surprise was revealed, and everybody know it was sunny. You know. OK. But when Mel went on that trip, did she know that Destiny was coming? And I promise y'all, I bet you Stormy was talking to Destiny and Destiny on told Stormy a bunch of lies. And they got down there and tried to attack Mel and Mel and Shanita and Nell and all them went the hell out. OK. I bet you one thing, I bet you a male said you better be able to prove it. And the puppet master ain't nobody but Carl Lucifer. Carl Lucifer finna lose his job. Hey, um, Aretha Al Johnson, I wish they would leave me alone. That the hate is ridiculous and unnecessary. Well, when you got a a, a, a man that wants to be the queen bee, and he's not the queen bee. What do you expect? I think they got Martell in it too. <clears throat> they all sat there and they came up with a device. That's why them two was in um to see what's going down. That was the spies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what they didn't realize was Mel had backup. You keep me laughing. Love you, dear. Love you back, Miss Aretha Johnson. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Arthur Aretha Johnson. I thought the same thing, too. That Stormy was talking about something that happened during the podcast. Because she said, oh, but in January, when I tell you, uh huh. Hey, look at Robinson Stormy better be worried about that one. Now, I wish Black Titanic had a uh, let the police got her. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> mm. Excuse me, my eyes are just. Excuse me. No, I got the itching, the throat turning. Hey, Carolyn Jordan. Yeah. The blogger needs to lose his job. He's allowed Melody to be mistreated long enough. Yep. Yep. The blogger is in trouble. So he better. You know what? I think he's in trouble. 
Now he's trying to have Apollo on his uh, thing. We already don't seen Apollo, the blogger. We saw it on the real um, podcast. Michelle Atlantean. Okay. I thought Martel was the puppet master. Martel went and told Destiny some lies. And I'm going to tell y'all when it started. When Martel birthday. Hold on. Um, I can't have a break, y'all. Um, I'm going to tell y'all when it started. It started on Martel's birthday when Destiny went down to Atlanta. Because I, in my opinion, allegedly, be like Carlos had reached out to her after her podcast. She went to Atlanta, had a talk with Carl, uh, with um, Slow Slow and Martel, came back, the podcast, she found out about the podcast. They started making up a plan and flew Destiny in like they did Kiki because, you know, Carlos is so calculating. His mess, his mess don't change, okay? The people change, but his mess don't. Flew her in. She don't went and told, you know, old Stormy sitting around having a good time because she already know who's coming, okay? And they already have this lie together. So they thought. Okay. So they come in and mail is bombarded, blindsided because Disney is there. Well, it's not good. Because they've been in contact with one another. They started the lie. And I bet you one thing. I bet that um, um, Mel said, y'all better be able to prove every bit of it because um, it's going to be some hell to pay. And Sharnia was ready to go. And I'm telling you right now, I would have went. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I was there. They would have all got these hands. All them devils. I would have laid these holy hands out over their ass. Hey, Braylon. Hey, PDS5428. The situation is toxic. I can't imagine how Melody gets through it. I, do, I don't do drama. I would have to hit somebody by now. I, I don't do drama even. But at this point, you asking to get hurt. You really are. Ooh, hey, my degree is real. That is why she came to the podcast to spy. Mm -hmm. It's so ironic that TV blogger is back. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now the mess really start now. Okay, so they all got together. They devised this plan. Now you got three bloggers who are definitely hating Mel. Okay, right now. Think about it. Now, <laughs> when the show come on, whatever they decide to air, they're going to be making lies up. They trying it, but God finna deny that, honey, because we are, I, I got it. I'm telling y'all what I know. I don't care. I I, I, I just got a feeling. Um, basically, Clay says, Sassy, I, I think the same thing about Stormy. She was up to no good. They were shocked to see all the millimeter Stormy and Carlos came up with a plan. They did. Now what they're trying to do is say, they're trying to run, you know, to own probably with say these fans are a problem. But it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. It never worked. It's never going to work. See, what you got to do, you got to be smarter than that. Y'all ain't smart. Y'all sit there and act like we some dumb, dumb women. I don't, we already peaked your game before you was even peaked. I mean, we saw your game when you came to the podcast, okay? We peeped your game. See, y'all so weak-minded. When you set out to do evil, God, people, he gives them vision. 
We visualize everything y'all trying to do. And baby, guess what? We got a plan for y'all. <laughs> Lady Brown, they are some stupid people. Own isn't even paying that much for all this ridiculous nonsense. They're just digging themselves in a deeper hole. Maurice is right. Someone is going to jail. You got that right. You pronounce it Aretha. <laughs> Oh, is that right? Is it the right way? Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe partly Cloudy will get arrest, uh, arrested during her speech this weekend. That would be nice. Now, ain't it funny how she tried to, they tried to come at Mel, and then they know Mel having this mimosa for Mel, and now she down in Atlanta at the same time. Yeah, these people so calculating. It don't make no sense. It, you know what? Evil always have the same plan, just different people. Um, I've been wondering um, what happened to Stormy in January. And then happened to Stormy. She had a she had a talk with Carlos. She don't had a talk with this. She had a talk. Okay. She had a talk. And they all got with Martel. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, because guess who liked um, uh, slow, slow pictures? Betty Kruger. Yeah, they all been talking. They all been coming up with a plan. They so stupid. They don't know how to lay low. But baby, I put one. I told you I'm a puzzler. I put puzzles together. Hold on now. Yes. Sorry, y'all. I was talking patient business. Y'all know it's, you know, hipper. Can't let y'all hear. Hey, Carlos is so obsessed with having a fan base like Mel. He was talking to the dentist and asked her what they should call our fans the boop, boopy drops. Uh -uh. They call the vapor mist. They just vaporize. Ain't nobody there. I'm pretty sure Mel went to the network. Oh, yeah. In my opinion, that blogger is some deep dookie. Mm-hmm. Carlos is some deep dookie, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, she has a lawsuit. I pray she sued the network for slander and harassment and for hostile working environment, uh, for the morality clause, for lies, for defamation. Ooh, baby, she get the right lawyer. She gonna make a statement out of Carlos with tight booty. Uh, yeah, CK needs to go as well. Yeah, CK needs to go. 
He's just a blogger. Yeah, he's not a producer. He's not even a good one. He's basic. He comes up with the same old, same old. Okay. Ugh. People tired of you, Lucifer. Lucifer. Um, y'all hit that like button and y'all can give to the channel too. Okay. Cash up, dollar sign three from every 12. Uh, super tag, super sticker, super emojis. Hey, Sharon Spears, how you say so you are 100% correct. It was a plan from the start. It was a divisive plan. And all of them been working behind the back. But what they didn't count on, they didn't count on Miss Dr. Sh Shanita. They didn't count on Lauren. They didn't count on uh, Dawn. They didn't count on Nail having her back. They didn't count on her. Cause baby, if I had have been there, I would have beat her ass. I'm just here to tell you, sis. I would, I'd be like, Mayo, you sit back, sis. I got this. I would took my watch off and put my gloves on, my cat suit. Because when I finish, it wouldn't be no damn DNA left. And everybody's going to be sworn to secrecy. Because I would have whooped some ass up in there. One by one. You hear me? Mm. Hey, Frida Ratney. Hello. Mel came locked and loaded with her girls on her trip. Yep, they wouldn't expect it. See, that's what happens when you try to plan to hurt someone. God always got a ram in the bush. Mm. And y'all wasn't a ram. Y'all was the bush. <laughs> y'all was the broke bush, okay? Hey, Shaquanda Lee. Hey, Shaney. Hey, Justin Marie and Andy Cohen would never be a professional. Mm. But never he um, be a mm. He not only inspires the trip, gave me Shanquilla energy. Yes. They all had a plan like Shanquilla Robinson. And if Mel had a came by themselves, ain't no telling what would have happened. Y'all, because these girls hate Mel. There is no reconciliation. There is no liking. There is no, they hate her. They envy her. Okay. They hate everything about her because they, they can't be her. Want someone to get physical hurt. Yeah. And Carlos, you think he care? Carlos is a straight uh, sociopath, psychopath, uh, inbred or something. Because people that got minds like this, their hormones and their DNA can't be right. And then have the nerve to call on God. Man, bye with your Satan Lucifer mouth and your car Lucifer tongue. Sit down. You ain't nothing but a curse. And I'm pretty sure people don't told you that. Man made a pad post about a liar will lie. That's right. A liar will lie even when they lie. And then they still lie because they know they telling a lie. A liar is just a liar. That's pointing to somebody running with lies to make a statement. Mel said a liar will lie. They will always lie. They will in, be in the mirror lying. Tell them a lie to themselves so they can look at their facial expression to make a better lie. Ain't that some? The, the devil is busy. Honey, he is the author of confusion. He is. He loves it. And if you like um, a confused mind state, you better check yourself because your soul going to hell. I'm just here to check. Hell bound ham. Hey, Sharon Reed. Hello, Sassy Miles and I'm going back in the bushes. All right. They finna try to make a story up blind about Mel and her fans. Oh, but they got to have our permission. You ain't got mine, baby. Mel is going to put the, her red bottoms on their fat necks, baby. And we're going to walk all over them. We're going to show them they are workers of iniquity. Yes! The devil's children. Ooh. Ooh, I would never want to be called the devil's child. But that's what Carl Lucifer is. He sold his soul. And out here trying to quote scripture. Ninja, please. you the biggest devil walking this earth. Joe tight ass. Uh, hey, just dipping in. Hey, Diamond Diva, honeybee. It's time for the blogger to be stopped. Melody is tired of him, and so are we, baby. Do we need to make a statement? I think we do. 
since you want to use us, we're going to use you for an example. <clears throat> it seems like it would be much easier to create an entertaining show that the viewers enjoy. I guess that's too much to ask. For Carlos to do something right? Man, please. Carlos don't know how to have nothing um, decent and in order. Carlos don't know how to have anything that would give him give somebody more praise. Well, his problem is he ain't getting no praise. He ain't getting no attention. His, he is second to me, and you second to us because you came on our blogging street. You're just a blogger, baby. What you do, anybody can do. Okay? You're not special. All right? I've already watched um, old fine Apollo. Okay? We've already watched him. You just second. You got seconds. Yeah. But you will be quiet and stack my money and pray that Mel can continue to stay on the show. Uh, hey, Purple Unicorn, I'm waiting to see what she has to say about January because I know she's not talking about the podcast. I know she ain't either. I know she ain't either because, uh, you know what, if people hadn't talked to uh, Black Titanic, her ass would have been locked up in January. Let's just be clear about that. You hear that, Snormy? Because of us, you didn't go to jail that night. Because it had to been me, I would told them to take your ass off. <clears throat> How about now? Better be talking mess in the Facebook hate group with her old wrinkled up face, looking like a damn prune. They absolutely have a plan. Oh, yeah, it backfired. Failed again. This is all over the 47 acres. They will keep this madness up because they are broke. They are mad. They are mad. Stormy mad because we found out she and um, Coleslaw were friends. Okay. She got on the whole network and lied and expected nobody to question her. Girl, who you think you fooled? Uh-uh. No, baby. You dealing with some smart women, honey. <laughs> you better take your uh un etiquette, lack of business, hug no self down somewhere and get off these streets because you in trouble too. Ain't nobody going to see Stormy. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to see you, Stormy. They coming from all over to see me. Why does she think she's on the same level as me? She ain't mentally. She jacked up, okay? Business-wise, she effed up, okay? Um, Moral-wise, she jacked up because all she do is lie. I wonder if the audience would know how many lawsuits she has against her. It's going to be somebody there to tell it. Whatever evil plan they have for me, it won't work. It never does. It won't work. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It's over. And nope, never does. CK and his puppets last in, uh, interest in us as, as a long time ago. Lost interest in us a long time ago. Yep, he won't be gone. Going to just wait until someone posts so he can strike. Listen, let me tell you something. Carlos using the Scots, losing jobs. They lost jobs because they ain't no damn good. They lost jobs because they ain't never built nothing a day in their life. They lost jobs because they fake lossing, fake fronting. They never had it. They was depending on that 47 acres to make them millionaire. Okay? Me She's mad because that 47 acres didn't go through. She couldn't have her house on the hill looking over Mayor. All right? She mad because her man, her man, be lusting after me. Okay? Turn hanging out. Your man didn't even want to renew his vows with you and told you, don't you ever bring a surprise like that on him. Ooh, your man was the one that went out there and got his little pretty pee pee cut on so he would never make a baby with you but what you did you got mad and you put that displaced anger on Mel because she had a baby by the man that was her husband at the time and you mad because you couldn't put nothing else in that raunchy funky twat of a uterus of yours 
You may. What Betty need to do is run around and find who that baby mama is of course, okay? What Stormy need to do is get herself together and pay her damn bills, okay? Stop worrying about what Mel got going on. And Destiny, you know damn well you in a lot of trouble. So if you don't sit down somewhere, your hair going to be exposed too. And you know. I know. So. And Kimmy. You was always the plotter. Just like you plotted that mess at the um in Houston with Kiki. Y'all went behind everybody's scene. And y'all got together. And y'all uh said if when Kiki came, y'all got together. And y'all went after Kiki. And then y'all tried to bring that on Mel, but what y'all forgot to do, they showed the wrong clip. They showed Mel telling Kiki, well, you need to talk to Nell, it's her trip. See, y'all think y'all stupid. God going to trip y'all up every time because, baby, the prayers of the saints are righteous. You hear me? You can't get nothing on God. Ain't nothing you can do. Ain't nothing you can say. Everything, every building, every weapon, everything you do will fail. It is that it is written. Do not mock the Lord thy God. He is not to be mocked. And you, Carlos, is making a mockery of God every time you open your damn um, devil field tongue. Oh, snake. <clears throat> Was Nell a part of the plot? No. No. Get those lights up, please. Yes. I can't stand them bitches. Me <laughs> Hey, Greta. Hey, Sunshine Rays. Hey, y'all. Let's try to get... Mama Band over here for an interview. Yes, I will. I will try to ask her. And to um, I will ask her when I see her. Jamaicans, hello, dear. Keep your foot on their neck. Say further to the loose joke. Um, hey, La Paulette. Uh, how you still start ringing? Let's be clear. It's about the 27 acres, the 47 acres. Hey, Gwendolyn Love. Melody need to let Rip and sue and shut down production. She needs to make sure that CK never works in the industry again. Yeah, he better be a blogger because after this, he ain't going to never work again. Never. You know what? You tried that mess with Candy. You did. But all Candy did was cry. See, Mel don't cry her last tear. She all cried out. It's time for war. It's time for war, baby. Okay. When Melody renewed her builder's license, Dusty Lopez was pissed. I can see him running to his so-called friends crying like a baby. Oh, thanks, sir. All their checks are going to be short for real. Uh, a word on the curb is they were real short. Mm-hmm. So they, uh, some of them went pulling their weight, but yet they run after Carlos. But what he does is they know he knows they money hungry. So he cuts a little and say, well, y'all yeah, got to show out and we're going to come up with this plan. And, you know, I give you your bonus, but you got to work for it. And they don't sell they sell to Carl Lucifer. Is this nigga? Who is he supposed to be? So broke. What is your network? What is your... You and your cheap production company. Okay. Come on. Mama Van, happy birthday. God bless you with many more. CK wants to be a want to be AC so dang bad. He wants to be over Bravo shows. He would never be as big as Andy Cohen. And when Mel walk away, love and marriage, Huntsville is a wrap. Done. You and your raindrops and misty drops can have it because I would never. Once Mel go, I, I and I love Nell and Chris. But once they, once Mel go, I would never report on that mess again. Never. Paper Nicole, um, that Stormy put that story out there, there because they know they effed up. She was trying to make people think that she had be done wrong playing victim. Mm -hmm. Says that they are mad. Mel is a successful businesswoman with multiple business. She is a single mother and is making it happen. They are all married with lawsuits, judgment, liens, cheaters. 
okay, more debt than they can do trying to please a man by getting themselves in debt instead of standing up and be the woman that they are. They wasn't raised right. Ugh, jack all, jack all the way up, Stormy, and the rest of the mofo. Yeah, Marcel posted a video on IG uh, page of Zen Gardens saying they are building a new multi-family construction. Zen Gardens is not building everything with scope. He trying it. He trying it. Oh, you in a five point five million dollar lawsuit with Zen Gardens? You think they going And that not only that, they had to pay. A woman, because y'all jacked up the parking lot, they had to pay that girl because that girl had a wreck in that parking lot. And it was founded that y'all didn't even lay the doggone cement and stuff right. That's a damn shame. And you want to post Zen Garden? If I was Zen Garden, I'd sue you for that. Big nose, SpongeBob looking rascal. She thinks she is a bug melody. It's sad. <laughs> That's what people with delusion of grandeur think. Sheila Naja, you are very good, Marge. Yes, yeah, Stormy never fooled me. I saw her when she drove up. Jealousy is a powerful drug. It'll put you in hell. It'll send you straight to hell. I want to get paid for my likeness. <laughs> oh, thank you, Angela, for your super sticker. The first one of the day. Thank you. <laughs> all right you guys my break is over so i will see you guys tonight at 7 45 okay we're going to continue to explore this but i am going to do some more research because i feel like yeah it's a plan in motion people coming back on youtube there's a um there's things that are in motion so when this show starts they can tell it but baby, y'all, the melamine's got to get activated and be on top of things. We got to start putting this narrative out there. We got to start being in front because they think they slick. But baby, there's always somebody slicker. When you think you slid, baby, we slide. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I got it. All right, y'all. Bye, y'all. I'll see y'all tonight at 745.